Hello guys, how are you all? My name is Harshi Devedi friends and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I am going to talk to you regarding noise pollution. See friends, before starting with this video, if you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link is given in the description box below. If you want to follow me on Instagram friends, the link of that is also given below. So in this slide, you can see friends, this is decibel level comparison chart here. So you can see the chart in front of you. Now, these data have been taken from the website of Yale University. So many of you ask that from where have you taken the data. So this particular data which you are going to see in this web in this slide, this is from the Yale University website. Now basically what is noise pollution friends? And before knowing about noise pollution, you need to understand about sound. Okay, so sound we all hear. And sound, the unit in which sound is measured is decibel. So this is the two things that you should know. Okay, now before starting, you should know one thing. This 0, 20, 20,000, 40,000, this is frequency and this is hertz. So basically, the frequency in which, the frequency of sound waves in which the humans are able to hear, that is a human auditory field, this lies between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz, that is 20 khz. You represent 20,000 hertz as 20 khz. So basically from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz is the human auditory field in this range humans can listen. Below this range is known as infrasounds that is less than 20 hertz. The sound can be heard by elephants, mole. Similarly, if we come to the range of more than 20,000 hertz, so in more than 20,000 hertz from 20,000 hertz to 40,000 hertz, cats and dogs can hear. However, cats and dogs can also hear. The voices of below 20,000 hertz, this green belt shows the frequency range in which these cats and dogs can hear. And above 40,000 hertz, still 160,000 hertz, bats and dolphins can hear. And this violet line shows the range of frequency in which these bats and dolphins can hear. But the human auditory range ranges from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Kindly note that in mind that uh, the frequency waves which are being released by avalanches, earthquakes, volcanoes they come in this category infrasound friends so that is why these infrasounds are dangerous and that is why these uh, these you know animals know that something like this earthquake is coming okay but we as a humans we don't know that it is coming until it has come on our head now measuring the noise intensity in decibel so this is the decibel map here friends from zero decibel to 140 decibel we are talking about so this green range represents that no risk so if the voice is from 0 decibel if the sound is from 0 decibel to 80 decibel then it is completely harmless for humans okay then if it rises above 80 decibels then 80 to 90 decibels this harms start so this is this is 9 till 90 decibel it is the harm harmfulness threshold after 90 the more dangerous effects start and above this 115 decibel mark, irreversible damage can happen. That is something bad happens to your ears, then obviously that damage cannot be reversed. It will be a permanent damage. Now let us have a look. Here you can see this 40 decibels is being represented at face pulse. But when you are going to see the Yale University data, Yale University data shows that whisper is 40 decibels. Okay. So basically, slight differences are there. The 60 decibel is normal voice friends. Then the voice that you are going to see in a playground in a football match that is around 80 decibels. Pneumatic drill. Many times you will see this JCV machines working and you know many times when highway construction is going on or the metro constructions, metro base structures is being set up. Then big JCBs are you know drilling the ground with this pneumatic drill. So basically that voice is at around 110 decibels. Then the plane takeoff. If you are outside the plane, inside the plane, you don't hear that voice, friends, because, you know, the sound absorbers are there. But outside the plane, if you are standing, when the plane is taking off and you are standing nearby to the plane, then this voice is around 130 decibel and it is quite a big voice. Got it? Coming on to the Yale University data, let us have a look. This normal conversation is 60 to 70 decibel. Vacuum cleaner, it is around 75 decibel. We normally use it on weekends to clean our home then telephone dine tone that is string string that is goes out to 80 decibel city traffic is around 85 decibel walkman at 5 sound level is 94 decibel 
जेट इंजन एट वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर वन फोर्टी डेसीबल अब हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव साउंड यू नो योर साउंड मैकेनिज्म विल स्टार्ट पेनिंग सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ डेसिबल लेवल कंपेरिजन डाटा तो यू विल सी दैट वंस यू क्रॉस दिस एट्टी डेसिबल थ्रेश होल्ड देन द प्रॉब्लम विल स्टार्ट एंड देन दैट नॉइज विल कन्वर्ट इट सेल्फ देन दैट साउंड विल कन्वर्ट इट सेल्फ इन टू नॉइज पॉल्यूशन सो बेसिकली नॉइज पॉल्यूशन इज एन अनप्लीजेंट नॉइज विच मे बी कॉस्ड बाई पीपल विच मे बी कॉस्ड बाई मशीन एंड दैट नॉइज इज पर्टिकुलरली एनॉइंग टू यू it distracts your mind it actually it may be very painful for you it can be physically painful it can be mentally painful friends okay and many a times in our daily life we hear this problem for example you know i'm just giving example if you are living in the andheri east area of mumbai so there is the airport friends so when this airport is there so what is happening that if you are living to the nearby area of this airport so and the displays are regularly taking off and the people who are having their flats there homes there they are very used to to the plane taking off and a lot of voice that this plane produces so that becomes very discharging and disturbing for the people who are living there many times on sundays when you are sitting at home if there is a function going on in your locality the obviously a big sound is there big buffer is there a lot of music is going on so that will also disturb you so these type of problems we regularly entail so there has to be a quite a good regulation for you know regulating these measures so that they can become less and less interest intrusive for people for common people because noise pollution is a big problem in today's world especially in the metropolitan cities now as i've already told you that sound is measured in decibel you should know a very interesting fact about decibel friends that if you are going to make an increase of 10 decibel in the sound level the loudness is going to double the loudness is going to double that is if you are listening a sound at 80 decibel and suppose you are listening a sound at 90 decibel so from 80 to 90 the loudness will double so you can very well imagine that this will become very much you can say disturbing for a normal human being okay and if you are exposed to prolonged level in exposure of above 80 decibel if you are regularly hearing sound above 80 decibel for a prolonged period of time a permanent hearing damage can occur to you it can occur to you when it will occur nobody knows it depends upon case to case basis also world health organization the leading medical body it says that in indoor inside the home or inside a community or inside an institution the sound level should be 30 decibels for a healthy living so for a healthy living the indoor pollution level noise pollution level noise level should not go above 30 decibels so this is a you can say a benchmark which has been given by world health organization now moving forward friends let us have an impact of these noise noise obviously causes very much annoyance and disturbance to our sound receptors okay this regular sound level fluctuations they disturb our mental balance what are the physiological effects if you are looking at the physiological effects of these your blood pressure will get affected your heart beat rate will get affected your pulse rate will get affected friends your blood cholesterol level will get affected your breathing amplitude will get affected you can see that a whole lot of effects is being made by this noise solution so noise solution noise pollution is not an easy thing to take it is actually a big problem nowadays okay this i have already told you that if you are sustained to longer times of exposure to this noise pollution that is about 80 decibel or 90 decibel then it can cause permanent loss of hearing also for some amount of time if you are hearing to a big amount of noise friends obviously your working performance is affected your efficiency gets affected it's very simple suppose you are giving an exam you are giving an exam paper now in that exam paper if the teacher two teachers are talking to each other that is normal but you will get affected because you are concentrating on something and that sound that noise is becoming a pollution for you because it is hampering your ability to concentrate on the particular question that you are attempting okay now sustained noise pollution also affects our nervous system a lot our nervous system is affected by the soil pollution this noise pollution i'm sorry friends it will cause pain in your ears you know you will feel tired you will feel sleepy things like these will happen you will lose concentration you will become restless i have already told you that the infra sonic sound waves is infrasonic sound waves that is that are below 20 hertz they can cause 
the collapse of structures also ultrasonic waves can also cause damage to buildings and materials got it then what is all that we can do in order to control this noise pollution obviously things have to be regulated the automobile horns uh, you know the automobile horns have to be used in very exceptional circumstances i will give an example suppose you go to nepal now in the hilly and secluded areas of nepal so for example if you take a bike or if you take a car and through lucknow going through the nepal border you enter nepal so when you will be entering nepal and after some amount of time in the hilly areas of the nepal this honking is not allowed and even in some hilly areas of india near shimla and anital honking is not allowed why honking is not allowed friends because this honking causes noise pollution it is disturbing to the animals living there it is disturbing to the human population living there so there has to be a regulation on honking of vehicles all also the automobile should be regularly serviced so that vibration is less in them okay in the traffic you will see there are a lot of uh, vehicles are making more and more noise so in order to reduce that noise regular servicing of automobile should be done then there should be a regulation on the use of loud speaker now loud speakers are becoming a problem nowadays friends whenever a po political rally is going on loud speakers are used whenever an announcement is read loud speakers are used in religious purposes loud speaker are used a lot for example if someone is organizing a ramayan in your locality then what they will do they will put a loud speaker at the top of their home and that loud speaker will be you know dictating that ramayan and everybody will the colony is listening now that's a good thing you know religious sentiments are associated for some people that ramayan would be very surprising for some people that ramayan would be disturbing because obviously not everyone likes to hear it especially when it is on a loud speaker so that may become disturbing similarly in mosque in the morning azan you know the morning azan is there is on loud speakers so people who are living in the nearby areas they will hear that azan now for some people it is good but for some people it may be disturbing their old couples the old couples are sleeping they will fell they will wake up due to that sound also some people who are very tired working the whole day when they are going to hear it they will get up so these type of things becomes disturbing for some people they are good for some people it's good that religious sentiments are associated with these thing but yes we have to accept it that these things are not acceptable for some people they will get disturbed because of this so there is a there is a regulation on all of these things and government can regulate them got it then one more thing to control this noise pollution is the best thing is that friends you know on the highways you will see that if this is a highway on both sides of the highways trees are being planted why because these trees are great absorbers of sound waves so by planting trees and by planting a green belt on both sides of the highways this noise pollution can be reduced also those people who who are working in noise intensive sectors for example there are many industries where laborers are working and a lot of big machines are going on and now those machines are creating a lot of noise so in order to protect those laborers from that noise pollution special gadgets special headphone gadgets can be given to those people so that they can be shielded from that noise also the shifts of those laborers can be rotated regularly so that sustained exposure to noise is not there so these type of steps can be taken in order to reduce the loss from the sustained exposure to noise so i hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful friends kindly subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram please share these videos on your social media profiles goodbye